Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the Inverts. If you're new, remember to hit that subscription button. So another video for new guys that just got into the hobby. And today it's a settled video for an Asian forest scorpion. We're going to keep it extremely basic and just show you exactly how easy it is to keep this these, these species of scorpion. The scorpion in today's video is a H. spinifer. So a larger of the Asian forest scorpions and an absolute stunner. So let's get into this very, very basic setup. So we've gone for a 20 by 12 by 12 deep plastic enclosure with the lockable little handles at the sides. Leventon's topsoil, we've gone three quarters of the way up with that. And we've also made a series of air holes along the sides, the ends, and a few on the lid as well to create some air circulation in there. We've done that with a soldering iron, but you can easily make these holes with a Dremel as well. If you haven't got one, highly suggest you do. Um, they do come in exceptionally handy, especially when your collection starts growing. Now this substrate does come quite damp. Um, it is moist, it's pretty good straight out of the bag. Now for a hide, we want a slightly curved piece of core bark. And we're going to place that straight on the top of the substrate. And we push it down just a little bit because we don't want a lot of room in there. Scorpions don't want a lot of room. They want to feel claustrophobic. And when we put our fingers inside, we want to get a tight fit of two fingers going in there. If it's not quite tight, just push it down a little bit more. Now that end where my fingers are now will be also be exposed. So what we do is we just get some soil and block it off. So when the scorpion's in there, they feel really, really safe. Um, when you look at that hide, you think the scorpion's never gonna fit in there, but they do, and they love it. A big water dish, scorpions do like, especially Asian forest scorpions, do like to drink a lot of water. So this is a lid off a jam jar that we've just put in, turned it upside down, and now we're gonna to top it up with water. So what I do is I just top it straight up with water. I overfill it because that's going to be my really damp area. That's the area that I'm going to keep damp all the time. Um, a lot damper compared to the rest of the enclosure. So I want to overfill that nice and good. So we can see the water going all the way down to the bottom. If you haven't got a spray bottle, get one. Because if this is your first scorpion or first invert, trust me, you're going to get some more. This is a five litre one. They're only a couple of quid. So get, get yourself one of these and we spray down the whole enclosure. Again, we don't want it overly damp. We just want it light, lightly moist and then we're happy. Um, again, that corner in the top left, I'm gonna keep that a bit damper than the rest of the enclosure, just so the scorpion's got a bit of a choice throughout its enclosure. Now it's also worth noting that once a week, we're gonna go in, we're gonna top up that water dish and we're gonna check the substrate. If it feels like it's dried out a little bit more, just add a bit more water with a spray bottle. If one area is a bit drier or looking a bit drier compared to another one, again, just spray the drier area a little bit heavier than what you normally do, and we're all good to go. Um, what I'm doing here is just spraying down that one corner there just to help increase humidity again. And if the scorpion fancy is a nice damp spot, it's got it just over there. Water bowl, just make sure that water bowl stays top to up. Generally one like that, you're fine checking it once a week. Um, for food wise, they do love dubias. Dubias aren't as fast as red runners, um, so they're easily catchable for a scorpion. You want to try feeding once a week. Although if they do go a couple of months without food, do not panic too much, that's completely normal. Now scorpions are a lot hardier than what our spiders are. So we can, I don't like to use the word, bully the scorpion out of its um, packaging or enclosure but literally that's what I'm doing here so we turn the box on its side and we've got the scorpion on the bottom and we just want to try and push it onto that plastic as soon as it's on that plastic it can't really get a grip and what we can do is just literally slide it like an ice skater over ice straight into the new enclosure now whatever you touch the scorpion it's going to turn around it's going to flick its tail up and it's going to have its claws facing you that's completely normal as well just try and be a little bit confident try not to be nervous or scared um, once this scorpion's in the new enclosure it's going to it's going to love you to bits and it's going to have a lovely environment in which to live in now that is it, it is as simple as that. Asian forest scorpion nailed. This is the spinifer.
Again, a beautiful, beautiful scorpion. When they molt, um, it's highly unlikely that you'll see a molt because generally they will actually eat it off. But like I said, if it doesn't eat, don't panic. If it's been a few months, then start to worry. Boom! So that was the very bog standard setup for the H spinifer or any of the Asian forest scorpions that we get. Again, these videos are aimed at the new guys that are just first starting out and first coming into the hobby. And this is exactly how I used to keep the scorpions. Um, going forward, I've now put moss and all sorts in with mine. But to keep them very basic, is this is this was how exactly how you do it. Um, if you're new into the hobby and you're enjoying this content, this is a second video that we've done which is aimed at beginners um, please drop me a like drop me a comment downstairs as well if you're not subscribed remember to the subscription button and if you've got this far and you're already keeping scorpions and all the rest of it if you've got any more advice that you could add to this video again let me know down in those comments that would be absolutely perfect anyway as always we shall see you again on the next one